What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today I'm going to show you how to find and use the new iBot pod, which will send an iBot out into the Commonwealth to scavenge for materials, ammo, and explosives. Unfortunately, we can't build our own iBot companions through the new robot workbench, and I know a lot of people were disappointed by that, but this is the next best thing and is actually a pretty cool mechanic. Before we continue, I do want to warn that the nature of this feature spoils the Automatron DLC storyline because you get it at the end, you know, in the end location. So if you haven't played yet and want to avoid spoilers, now is the time to leave this video. In order to unlock the iBot pod, you'll need to find the schematics for it first, and you'll need to complete the entire Automatron DLC storyline, and that means you need to finish the Restoring Order mission, and that's just simply the last one where you confront the Mechanist, and then you have access to the Mechanist layer. So once you're inside of the layer, you're going to go through the control room, take a right, come through here into what is Isabel Cruz's bedroom, at least as far as I can tell, and right here on the table, you will find the iBot pod schematics, kind of hard to see without your flashlight on, and in the top left, it'll say, you can now build this at Outdoor Workshop Settlements. While you're here, you might as well head to the back and grab these spotlight schematics hanging out right here. They allow you to build another version of the spotlight that's already been in the game, and I will show you guys that towards the end of the video. Once you've grabbed those schematics, head to your settlement of choice. Now, some may say, why don't you just do it in the mechanist layer? And it does say outdoor settlements, and that's because the iBot needs to be able to travel and can't go outdoor. Of course, each of the locations are instant. So basically you go into your workshop menu and you can find the iBot pod under the special category however it will require six power in order to run so you'll need to you know make whatever combination of generators or if you already have generators just attach the wires in order to power this thing as you can tell i'm going to go ahead and build a large generator actually i already had one in my inventory luckily so once you've got that you can go back to the iBot pod under the special category and it will require copper circuitry aluminum fiber optics and nuclear materials so you do have a little bit of a resource requirement in order to get your foot into the door but once you've got it of course just attach the wire and you will be in business now you can head up to the terminal and choose what you want your iBot to scavenge for you've got three options components which are materials you know like your ballistic fiber your aluminum all of that your ammunition tons of ammo types and also explosives and within each category are a list of options a pretty solid list unfortunately it's not the full list of resources I mean there's like 20 to 30 I want to say different resources in the game that could be in here but I, there are you know a select few in here and actually some pretty nice ones you're gonna see I'm gonna choose ballistic fiber here in a second ballistic fiber is a pretty rare resource so it's nice that you're able to search for something like that so once you actually do that you can recall your iBot if it's in a location that you can't get to I'll talk about that in a second but once you do that you're gonna find your iBot just jumping out of this kind of iBot ranch or pen or whatever and then it goes on its way when you send the iBot out it's going to give you a quest a miscellaneous quest automatically and mark it on your map once it's actually found the item that you're looking for so as you can see you can go ahead and mark that on your map and actually track where the iBot is going so you will need to pass a little bit of time in order to you know let the iBot find your item so I would say sleep for about two to four hours probably some you know further away locations on the map are going to take about four hours but I just slept two hours there and you can tell it was already found Found by my iBot. Now it's important to note that all the iBot does is mark this item on your map. It just shows you where to find it. All it does is locate the items, mark them. It doesn't actually grab them for you and bring them back. And I'm not sure if Bethesda place new items in the world to find but in my experience so far the iBot just finds you know items where they probably already were you know in certain locations where you could already find them but the iBot just tracks them down so you don't have to look it up or whatever just a fair warning your iBot might mark an item behind a locked door and that's kind of frustrating so you may need hacker lock picking maybe bring Kate along Nick Valentine maybe even make an automatron with the hacking or lock picking mods which are new to the game as you guys saw I had to get through an advanced locked door I had to level up in order to get through that so just your fair warning make sure you have some kind of form of getting through doors and also you'll see later in the video I have to get through a master locked safe and that's something I really didn't think was going to happen just be prepared for these things so my honest opinion on the iBot pod is that it doesn't do anything that you can't find on the internet you know if you want to find ballistic fiber Google can do that for you you just have to Google it and maybe find a really good YouTube video I haven't made one but some other YouTuber has probably made a solid video showing you how to find that you know I think this is a cool mechanic but man it would have been great if the iBot actually retrieved the items and brought them back in exchange for caps or something else something of exchange or maybe just having to wait longer you know it makes sense for them to add this into the game since robot building is very resource intensive you know it does require a lot of resources to make your you know automatrons how you want them I just wish this system the iBot you know pod system was more robust and they actually retrieve the items for you 
Not to mention, the locations that are marked on the map don't give you like a ton of resources. It's just one location where you can find some of that item. It's not like you're going to find, you know, 20 aluminum in one place or 10 ballistic fiber. It's not like that because that's not how it is in the vanilla game. You don't find 20 circuitry in a safe. That just doesn't happen. And so I'm just giving you guys a few things to think about with this iBot pod. Now we're taking a look at the wall mounted spotlight, which is what you unlocked from the spotlight schematic earlier in the video. And it's found under the defense tab. It provides provides the same defense rating as a normal spotlight that was already in the game kind of an item that would patrol back and forth I'm going to show you just a second here the normal one right there just looks back and forth and kind of highlights enemies that are attacking your settlement this new one the wall mounted one requires the same amount of materials and costs one less power which is nice unfortunately the spotlight was already buggy and sometimes it just doesn't even work so I don't know if this is worth your time it's kind of a cool cosmetic thing if you want to pimp out your settlement you know make some spotlights along the walls and the outside that's kind of a cool thing but it doesn't work all the time just keep that in mind so I'd like to hear from you guys after watching this video will you go ahead and get the iBot pod schematic I guess there's no harm no foul in you know getting the schematic but will you actually use it is this something you'd actually use and I think for some reasons it's maybe not even that worth it you could just go ahead and look up a YouTube video and find it and you know I don't know it really kind of annoys me that it doesn't retrieve it for you but anyways I want to hear what you guys think share all of that in the comment section below all right guys today I showed you how to get the iBot pod in the automatron DLC for Fallout 4 and next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel so stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos if you learned something new remember to hit that like button I would really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe for more automatron DLC coverage robot building guides and general tips and tricks videos talk to you guys next time peace